Hi. So in this video, I want to talk about some of the new improvements we have added to the note feature of the SuperPower Chat GPT. Before we start to use SuperPower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search for SuperPower Chat GPT, click on the first link, and we'll send you to this page where you see a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on that button, and it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll see the new features start to show up on your ChatGPT interface. The feature I want to talk about today is some of the improvements we have added to the note feature. Now, as a reminder, uh, the note is um, this feature that basically you see this button on the right side of the page when you click on it. If you are in a conversation, let's say I'm going to open one of our older conversation like this one. Um, it basically allows you to um, save a note for each conversation. Uh, so we, we already had this feature. Uh, I'm just doing the recap. Every conversation gets its own note. Uh, so you can basically just type anything here and you can go to and you can see as soon as I start typing um, uh, like a green icon appear here. It, it's an indicator that this conversation has a note. Now I can go to another conversation and I have like an empty note. I type something else in here. Uh, you see the green icon appeared here. I go back to the first conversation and you see that the note just updated to, to the previous note. So um, this is just a note feature. We had this feature for a long time and it basically allowed you to save specific notes related to each one of your conversation uh, right inside ChatGPT instead of having to um, create like an like a text file on your computer and then having to be to associate those files to your conversation on ChatGPT. Now the feature I want to talk about today is related to um, to to the note feature. Um, you see this button uh, on the top right of the page. Um, it basically is a shortcut to note manager. If I click on that, it will open the list of all of your notes. Uh, another way to access the note manager is by going to the manager here and then clicking on the note icon on the left side it will open the note manager. Note manager is where you can like find all of your notes here. I just have some example notes in here. Um, most of them are just pretty empty, but it's just a very, uh, an example to show you, you can have like as many notes as you want. You can also search your notes uh, if you like to. Now, the features that I wanna talk about today are all under these these like um, three dot uh, menu icon. So we didn't have this feature previously, but we added it recently. Uh, if you click on this three dot icon, you see a bunch of new um, menu item. You can rename the note if you want to. So by default, each note gets its name from the conversation name. Uh, but if you want to change the name of the note, you can just easily come here, click on rename, and it will give you the option to just change the name of that note. Another thing you can do here, uh, you can just click on each note or click on edit, and it will allow you to just like edit that note if you want to. You can uh, also download the note. This wasn't available before. So if you I click on download, it will just download the note as like a text file uh, into my computer, and I can just have it on my computer. Um, the other option is to delete the note from here. And um, we also have this reference, this note. So I previously talked about referencing conversations uh, in an, in other conversation in another video. I'm just gonna show you quickly, like when you're looking at a conversation, any of these conversations, you can simply click on the conversation and just say you reference this chat. And when you do that, it will just, create a text file and immediately upload it to this conversation. And now I can reference that older conversation in this conversation that I'm looking at right now. I can reference another chat if I want to. I believe ChatGPT allows you to like upload up to 10 different files. So it basically allows me to reference other chats. Similar to how referencing older conversation works, you can also now reference notes. So if you have a note with ChatGPT and um, you want to start a new conversation and you want to use that note as a reference in the conversation, you can just simply go to see all notes and click on that conversation and then reference this note. When I do that, if I close this, you can see that that conversation um, 
is now uh, that that note is now attached to this conversation and i can just start the new conversation and ask question about that note uh, using chat gpt so this is a way to reference notes in new conversations so yeah to recap we added a bunch of new features to the note section under this menu uh, you just just go to the note section and click on either rename um, edit download or reference notes and use those new features um i hope you like these features and thank you